Hey guys, Harry here with a little video on trowels. Uh, today I'm going to be rehandling this WHS. Uh, it's a 10 inch broad heel trowel. It's the trowel you've been seeing me using for the best part of a year on the channel. Um, I used a, uh, a WHS uh, Philadelphia pattern. This is a wide heel London. Uh, 11 inch for a long time uh, before that. It's a little bit different to a Marshall Town, a little bit flatter lift, as you can see the handle sits a little bit flatter. Uh, but today, you can see with all these Durasoft handles, and especially the Tizak ones, they're particularly thin and they wear down over time. And you know, you can feel it in your hand, it doesn't feel as nice as a new trowel. So, I'm going to be rehandling it today with a Marshall Town wooden handle. Um, I had to peel this sticker off of it. Uh, I managed to get it off without leaving any scum on it. Um, but you can get some sticky spray and it gets rid of any stickiness. There's a little bit over there, a little bit of a, a sticky marks. Um, some gummy spray gets rid of that. So, uh, um, But anyway, you know, these handles are very, very similar size to the Proform uh, Marsh, uh, W Rose. So the blue and grey plastic W Rose. It's the same length and it's basically identical except the W Rose obviously has plastic and uh, rubber you know, grippers on it and this part's plastic on the W Rose except on the Marshall Town uh, it's obviously a metal. Um, it's not the nice chrome like you get on the uh, WHS's, you can get a chrome um, when, you buy the, when you buy the leather leather handle that I've got on one of my WHS's that I've fucking butchered. Um, you get like a chrome, um, like a chrome handle tang or whatever you want to call it. I'm not quite sure what you call that bit of the trowel, but uh, anyway, you can easily fix, um, you know, like a rubber, a rubber little, a rubber feet to it. Or you can get like a little rubber grommet. Um, I use the best thing for this. I use chair feet. So the the rubber feet that you can put on chairs, one of those fits perfectly on one, on there if you want a rubber. You don't like the tapping. Um, for me, I'm not really bothered about that. Um, this will wear down over time, probably over time. When it gets a little bit shorter, um, I'll probably, you know, cut that, cut that flush, nice and straight. Give it a sand and put one of them grommets on it to just give it an extra bit of tapping length again. Um, I like the, I like the handles with, you know, the, the normal WHS wooden handle is like, yay long. It's like that. And you try and put your hand on that, and there isn't much room. If that slides in your hand a bit, you're having to readjust and regrip it. So it takes some, it takes more grip strength to use a handle like that, rather than something with a little bit more length. And you, if your hand moves a bit, you know you've still got a bit of, you know, you've still got some more more to grip. So you aren't going to use as much grip strength with a longer handle. Um, that's why people find certain handles more awkward than other others because if you've got short if you've got short fingers you'll find it easier gripping probably a smaller a thinner handle if you've got longer fin fingers sometimes a thicker handle is nicer uh, it just depends on your palm size your grip strength so if you've got a stronger grip you probably prefer a thicker handle than you do you know a thinner one so enough talk of handles and uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how I'm going to take off uh, this handle I'm going to try two methods, right? I'm going to try two methods. I'm going to I, I'm going to A, I'm going to try, I'll, I'm going to A, angle grind it off. So that means I'm going to lose this handle. Uh, if I ever want to use this again, which is pretty knackered, why would I want to? Um, I'm going to try two methods though. First of all, I'm going to try something that I've seen on YouTube, and it's boiling your handle in boiling water. So to basically melt the adhesive on the inside and, and get that a nice pull and slide it off. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to leave it boiling for 20 minutes in a pan and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So that should melt the adhesive theoretically or the handle so we should be able to slide that off without you know potentially grinding into the handle or the tang that would be somewhere down there. I'm going to try it out anyway I've seen it on YouTube I saw someone do it with a W Rose trowel. I'm going to put the extractor on so it don't stink and I'll see you guys in about 20 minutes. Uh, so it got to about 5 or 10 minutes I thought this is going to cost me a fucking bomb in electric. I'm going to use my fucking battery cutter instead. Right, see you in the next clip.
Right, we've got some adhesive. I'm going to mix it up on this bit of wood down here, so check it out. So, uh, this is how not to do it. Uh, this was my first attempt. And you see me squirt the epoxy and the um, activator. It's a Gorilla epoxy, you know, with the two little tubes. Um, the first thing I did wrong is I didn't mix the epoxy together with the activator correctly, so it activated. Uh, so I found hours later it was still very, very uncured and still sticky and like, you know, not been mixed correctly. So that's one thing you're going to make sure you do. You mix both of the, uh, you know, the solutions that come out correctly. A little mix like that ain't good enough. You've got to really give it a, give it a stir. And then you've got to make sure your tang um, goes deep enough into your handle. So what I had to do is I had to take a 10 millimeter drill bit and drill it another 10 or 15 mil because after I attached, uh, you know, the handle it didn't go on far enough. Uh, so that was one of my first errors and obviously you saw my little short video if you look on my channel I did a little short video my first attempt uh, so yeah and I wouldn't recommend using a bit of dirty wood either you can see I'd not mixed it correctly as you can see there it should start turning a little bit white when it's getting activated a little bit cloudy so um, that was my first error so <clears throat> I'll cut to the next clip So yeah, I'm back again about a week later after the first fuck up and we've drilled it deep enough this time and we're now going to hammer this fucking sh hammer this tang on and we're going to epoxy it and get a bit of uh, bit of wood, mix up my epoxy and away we go, I'm going to can. Try to do it a little bit in frame to see what I'm doing. A new handle, new handle my epoxy. Add that best we could and we'll get my hammer out. Okay. Get this fucker bang on. Some on here, right on his handle. Some bit deep in there. Let's put some on his tank. Some more. Some more all over his tank. Some more inside here, Got a nice work around. That will be fucking solid, that boys. So it goes off in five minutes apparently. So let's see. This is where I got it wrong last time. I think we're on there, boys. Let's have a take this out. I think we're there, let's give it another whack. Nice and tight on there. Have a look at that. I'm fucking happy with that boys. Got a little bit of cloth. That boxy rubbed off. That is pretty much as close as we're gonna get it, boys and girls. One more time. Yeah, one more fucking smack. Just clamped on. Right, mm, up there, boy. Pretty much there. Okay. A little bit more off this fucker. Okay. 
pretty much there. Let's have a look at that. That's the uh, that's the leather handle one that's knackered up that I lent someone. That's that one. It's got a nice little nice little bit there. It thickens up the tang thickens up on this one. So share these side by side. So a labourer used this and I lent this a labourer and it fucked it up. Uh, it's covered so. So yeah, it's pretty much there. That's, Feels pretty good that, to be honest. Got that pretty much identical. Where well, um, it's my other trowel. So you can see trowel to trowel. Let's have a look where the hands hands are adjacent. My hand actually my hand where I want it to be sits further up on this trowel if you can see. So pretty happy with that. It's nice and on there. So we'll give let, let that dry now. We'll let that dry. And um, a little bit of comparison, side by side comparison. Yeah. Tang to tang. Finger will sit identical there. If not a little bit further forward towards the uh, bit more closer to the blade, if anything, is this plastic? I like the feel of this plastic. But it's no good. It gets all crap in there. I've only used this a week. All the crap gets around this bit. It's no good. Whereas this, you can easily got nice, easy cleaning. You know, you get that feel. So, and as well, when you're holding it, it feels freaking identical. So yeah, we get used to this, we get used to this handle, even a new handle takes a lot of time to get used to, it's a Marshall Town handle, that feels very good, I feel very good on that. It feels a little bit more like the W Rose, so if I grab the W Rose out, which is in here, it feels very similar, like that's exactly the same, you see on the handles, it's the exact same as the W Rose, you see it has a little bit sticking out, I'm happy with that. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. That is just what I wanted. So yeah. Before that was stuck out 10 mil. So that was too far away. But this they feel identical in the hand. They feel exactly the same, but I just want the bigger blade. So right. Alright guys. Go back inside before everyone oh, Mel kicks me ass. This is a trowel, it's had a day's use. Uh, when I first picked it up, this handle was super shiny, super smooth, super slippery. So I had to get a, a fresh pair of gloves on. It was nice and grippy and that, that shine has basically gone now. So after a day's use, I could have just got some sandpaper to it and just roughed it up a bit. Uh, but, you know, that's the only thing with wooden handle trowels when you first use them. Um, you know, they feel a bit slippery, sliding in your hand. Uh, but once they rough up a bit, you know, they're great to grab up, you know, the they're good to use and if you if your gloves you know if you're wearing gloves and they're quite smooth just take your glove off and use just use your trowel bare hand it's, it's good to use it's, you know you can just to wear that trowel in uh, a little bit that trowel handle but yeah still using the 10 inch WHS London pattern this has worn down a bit as you can see it's a little bit slight curve to it you know hardly anything really um, but it's noticeably smaller than my other one so feels a little bit nicer, a little bit easier to lay the brick up. To be quite honest, it's lovely having having a bit of bit of uh, extra handle to just give a bit of leverage. You know, it's always easier to lift the mortar when you've got something to lever against. Uh, just like having a bigger spanner. If you try to use a small one, it's hard. Bigger spanner, it feels easier. And uh, and you've got a little bit of extra length. So if you want to cut some bricks, you know, you can easily get a slap. Um, but yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Putting a a six inch sort of a, a six inch wooden handle on sort of any trowel. I I recommend this handle is probably the best I've used. I'd I'd use a pro form one, but I can't find them. They're about about like twenty five quid, and I could buy a brand new trowel for that. So um, yeah, definitely recommend these seven quid off eBay handles. Uh, you know, they, they go lovely on any trowel. I'd even consider putting one of these on a Marshall Town. So you know. Um, you know, 
instead of getting the the Jura Soft, one of these wooden handled versions, probably you know I'd probably even try get try Marshall Town with this sort of handle because it, it is a Marshall Town handle. So uh, yeah, so hope you got, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is this will be the beginning of uh, Monday to Wednesday's Britlane vlog. And it'll be the end. And it'll be at the end of the rehandling my WHS uh, video. Um, uh, yeah, so a couple of days left on the house. Finish that, and then um, I'll either be dropping onto another plot on that site, or you know, could be anywhere. But we'll see. Um, I don't like concrete bricks, but you know, I've been managing to get at least 500 down a day which is pretty good for a concrete brick so if you can lay 500 of them every day and I'm getting used to them slowly but um, you know it's one of them um, anyway right see you in the next video